hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here please subscribe to this channel if you're an old subscriber thank you for coming back thank you and i love you and appreciate you guys so so much so today's video is something very serious and um somebody somebody in particular actually sent me an email asking me to do this kind of video and you must have seen from the title um it's the asylum process here in finland I'm not going to be telling you, if you come to this video expecting that I'll be telling you what to do or what to come and say or how to come and seek for an asylum. No, you're not going to get that. I'm just going to be telling you the process once you're already here, the process, what it entails and what you're going to go through as an asylum seeker. Most of the information, I'm sure if you go online, you're going to see the same thing. So what I'm saying is actually accurate and maybe not up to date because here in Finland, they always revise these immigration laws a lot. So... I'm going to be telling you mostly about the legal and administrative part of the asylum process here in Finland. And I'm going to break it down into different sections. I don't even know how I'm going to organize it because everything is in my head. And I'm just going to say it like it comes. So once you arrive here and you want to seek for an asylum, the first thing you do is to go to a police station and once you go to a police station what they do there is on that first day they do some kind of basic investigation on you basic investigation here just means they try to find out about who you are where you're coming from what you're all about why you're in finland and all that so it's either you go to that police station or you go to the camp directly depending on what your situation is i can't really tell from the police station, normally they'll take you to the camp. And the refugee camp is where other refugees stay. It's basically like a big house where they welcome refugees here in Finland. And it's in Helsinki and I'm sure every town has its own refugee camp. I don't really know much about that. But times, but if you go straight to the camp, they're still gonna call the police and they're still gonna come and do their basic investigation on you. Once you come back to the camp, the camp is where you're gonna leave it's gonna be like your new home and depending on how full it is you might leave alone they might give you a room alone or you share with somebody but most at times you share with people like two or three people in one room and there you stay there you eat there you do your laundry there you do everything there and they give you like a small allowance monthly which you use to buy personal stuff you know not much something really small I don't want to give the price out here but it's it's not much trust me so while you're on the camp they try to investigate you the police try to investigate you and before you leave the camp depending on your case like what i'm saying is not fixated it just depends on your case the police try to do some kind of in investigation on you and so does the immigration while you're in the camp you have to go through several interviews so they'll give you a lawyer for free like these pro bono lawyers that do work for free and that's the lawyer that you're gonna go through with and once they give you a lawyer and you don't like the lawyer you have the right to change that's the first thing the second thing is while you are in the camp if you come and after your basic investigation they see that you are with some kind of um, identification paper like an ID card or a passport or something and then your case too will be handled a little bit different like your process will be a little bit different and I'm gonna come into that in a second So while there you have two major interviews that you're going to go through. The first one is with the police. I cannot give you a particular duration of how long you can stay before going to the police but it's usually very early like very fast within the first three months you go for your police interview. And then what they do is they just want to find out more about you. They want to be sure that you are from the place that you claim you're from. You know just the basic you know identity investigation but it's actually very deep. So once you go through that um, uh, through that um, interview process and come back, you can they can actually make a decision based off of that, which could either be a positive or a negative decision. But it's in very rare cases. Once you come back, depending on what you say, they will then give you an immigration interview where you go now with your lawyer to an immigration interview that can take like eight hours six hours depending on your situation sometimes some people even go there two for two days like you can go today and you come back tomorrow because they don't have like they don't really get you when they don't get you or you have a really deep situation your inter your interview might take days so yes so with the first police interview you can go there alone depending on who your lawyer is if he's a nice person he can actually take you there for the moral support 
but and however if it's somebody that does not care you go there alone usually they always leave people to go there by themselves then for the second interview now which is with the uh, immigration you go there you always have a lawyer you have a translator and then you have the interviewer sometimes two of them it just depends so you stay there for hours upon hours and you answer questions it's basically a question and answer session where they ask you deep questions and you're on that um a camera and all that people watch you from different rooms and all that it's really intense yes so after that interview you go back to the camp but like I always say depending on your situation you can stay there and they always tell you at the end of the interview that your results will come out within the next six months six months at least your decision will come out and that immigration interview is very very important because the information you give there that's where you tell your story that's where you tell them why you're in finland what you're running what you're running away from and why you want to stay here in finland and how you got to finland so depending on what you tell them there is what will make them give you a positive or a negative decision and a positive decision will simply mean they'll give you papers to stay here legal papers and a negative decision will simply mean you are going back to your country so when you get back to the camp after some few weeks or maybe even a month they send you to a different camp now and this one is not really like a camp camp it's like an apartment because a camp like i said is just a place that people come there they welcome people there and it's always like people are always coming and going out so they can't keep people there for too long so they send you out to a, a different place they can send you to any place in finland they can send you to the north they can send you just anywhere it doesn't matter there's no criteria so when you say when they send you there now you go to actually an apartment where you live you still share with people but the difference between that and the camp is that you cook your food by yourself you do your groceries or shopping by yourself and your allowance basically increases okay now back to like uh, your identification whether you came with passport and identification or whether you did not come with an identification and now i'm going to be telling you about working as an asylum seeker here in finland when you arrive here and you came with your papers or you came with some kind of identification you have three months to go and get or apply for a work permit which can permit you to work but if you did not come with any kind of invest uh, identification you just came with your mouth to come and talk you have six months to wait before you qualify to actually apply for a work permit before they used to give you an actual work permit but nowadays you go you get the job and then your employer calls the immigration calls the immigration for them to confirm that you actually qualify to work with your status so things are changing every day here in finland that's the truth so it's becoming more and more difficult yes that's how it is you can actually work here as an asylum seeker and once you get a job you have a full contract with full hours you can take it to the immigration office you can take it there or to the unemployment office one of those offices where they can give you papers you can get uh, papers through work you know they can actually give you a residence permit through work so that's an uh, that's a good thing here in finland but it all depends on you if you feel like you have a good reason and you have a good case you can just you know sit and wait but who does that everybody wants to work back back now to when you are moved out of the camp i'm going to tell you about education for asylum seekers as far as going to school and learning in finland is concerned for asylum seekers once you come into the camp you start into integrating into the the country already Firstly, you start learning the language immediately once you're in the camp. Whether or not you have a decision, you have to go to school. It's never a must, like it's not by force, but you have to go to school. It's always advisable to go to school because even if you don't go to school, what are you sitting there doing? You just have to go there even if it's just like a pastime. So once you, you start, you come, you start going to school. But it's always much more effective when you are moved out of the camp to a house now. You start the integration process immediately you start going to school so, so if your decision comes out when the decision comes out it can either be one of these two it can either be a negative or a positive decision if you have a positive decision it means they give you a residence permit here you can stay here legally you have full rights just like any other thing you have all the opportunities that Finnish people have 
but you are actually controlled like they have small small things that they control about your life so once they give you a positive decision this is what they tell you you have the right to look for a house anywhere in finland like any town you want to live in finland you have the right to look for a house if you want to go to school they're going to take care of your school like going to school will mean starting with the language the language course depending on what you want if you want to go to the university it just depends on you if you came with your certificates and you feel like you have to continue or you want to continue it depends all on you if you want to go to school you go to school and then they pay for the house and they give you an allowance monthly but most at times when people move out of the camp they start working and when you start working and you get a positive decision sometimes people just decide to continue working and take care of themselves by themselves for themselves you know but that's usually the case once you get a negative decision you have the right to appeal you have three times to appeal that decision and if you don't succeed you are deported back you are sent to the deportation camp and you stay there for a while and from there you're going back to where you came from excuse me some cases some people appeal and they actually succeed some people appeal and they don't succeed so it just depends on your case i don't know the criteria on what they seek to take the decisions on i really cannot tell that now but that's how it is so yeah that's how that's the process that's basically the process that you go through as an asylum seeker to finally get your papers here so once you're in the system you must not only get your papers through their decision or based off of their decision you can also get your papers through work sometimes the decision comes when you already might have had your papers through work and if the decision comes and it's negative you can just push it aside and concentrate on your work contract and make sure that you keep your work contract until when you have your four years or a permanent resident yeah, yeah a permanent resident here in finland so it depends so all this information i hope it's gonna be helpful and i hope i was organized enough in putting this out for you guys but if you have any questions you put them down in the comment section below and i'm gonna try to answer from my own knowledge i'm gonna try to tell you guys everything but you guys know i'm not gonna answer some questions there i'm gonna ask you some questions i can't really answer so if you have anything else to add you are very welcome in the comment section below thank you guys so much and i hope i answered the i actually satisfied whoever asked me to do this video mm -hmm yes so this is the end of the video but before i go stay pretty stay clean and always smile see you in my next video guys bye